Hello and welcome to another video in the Sudoku Primer series. This is puzzle number 28 from Sudoku to Go, volume 103 by Soap Opera Digest. Yeah, this is an easy puzzle and volume 103 just came out uh, just recently. So I'm going to do this easy puzzle and then I'll do one from each of the other three skill levels all the way to Diabolical. I'll be doing those uh, in the next few days. Um, and now this is an easy puzzle uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a talk about a couple patterns and a couple things that are a little bit more advanced than easy but that's probably good for some of you who are just learning how to do um, the, the easier and medium puzzles. First of all, I want to talk about uh, right here in the middle box, we've got a diagonal pattern. Three cells in a diagonal right in the, right in the middle of the box that aren't populated. And let's see what those numbers are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, seven, and eight. Now, um, if we can find numbers, like there, here's an 8 right here, so we know this is a 5 or a 7 right here. Okay. So if we see a 5 or a 7 in this row or in this column, uh, we would know what this number is. Okay. Here we've got, we don't see a 5 or a 7 or an 8 in either this row or this column. But here's a 5 and here's a 7, so we know this is an 8. <clears throat> okay. And what's left here is a, we have a 5 and a 7 left. Here. Let's see if we can see. We, we don't see a 5 or a 7 anywhere. Uh, if we did, we could fill these in, but right now, at this point, we can't. Uh, there's another pattern I want to talk about, and that is the a plus pattern. You'll notice in this box right here and in this box right here, we've got four empty cells, and they form a plus. Now, if we find um, numbers in this row here or this column here, or this row here or this column here that aren't in this box already, then we'll know um, uh, if we find two in a row or a column in the same row or the same column that, that aren't already in this box, we'll know what, uh, what two of the cells are and we'll know where they go. Uh, let me show you here. There's a six and a one here. We don't have a 1 or a 6 here in this box yet, so we know that the 1 and 6 go here. And because we know that the 1 and 6 go here, we know what these two numbers are. Let's see what those are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So those are 3 and 7, and these are 1 and 6. So we got two sets of twins there that we can work with. Now, I don't see any 3 or 7 here in these columns, or 1 or 6 in these, in these rows, so we can't solve them, but we know what they are, you see. Okay. And there's a, there's a, um, let's look at this box right here. We have kind of the same situation. Here we've got a 2, and we've already got a 2 in the box. And I didn't mention it, but we have an 8 here, but we've already got an 8 in this box. And so, um, we can't do anything with this column, but look at this row right here. We've got an 8 and a 6, so we know that these are 6 and 8 right here. And so what are these? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are 1 and 4. 
and it just so happens we can solve both of those because here's a 1 so we know that's a 4 and that's a 1 and here's a 6 right here so we know this is an 8 and this is a 6 so you can see how uh, the diagonal patterns and plus pattern patterns can help you um, solve solve puzzles. Let's just go through the sections now, um, and uh, well, let me let me do a little bit of uh, row and column completion. That's a little bit more um, basic technique. So we've got this column right here. They're only missing two numbers in these two cells. And what are those numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and four. We've got a four right there, so we can fill those in. Three and four. Okay. And now we know everything in this box except for these two numbers. And what are those numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's an 8, so we know those numbers. Okay. Now, um, I just did an example of column completion here, where I completed the 3 and 4, and box completion, where I completed the 5 and 8 here. Um, <clears throat> we can also do row completion, and these are all more, more basic techniques. This row right here, we could see if we could complete that. What do we have? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1 and 3 are missing here. And we don't have any 1's or 3's here, so we can't solve those. But let's look at this row right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 4 and 5 are missing up here, and we've got a 4 there, so we know those. Got a 5 there and a 4 there. And we've got 1 and 3 missing here. We can do row completion or box completion now. And this is a little bit more advanced technique where you've got um, numbers that you know about, but you don't know how to solve them yet, like 1 and 3 here. Uh, we can use those to find out what these two numbers are. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got 2 and 7 here. Uh, and we know that because we know the 1 and 3. We could also do uh, row completion here and find those two numbers. Now we can't solve those either. There's 2 and a, two and 7 here. Um, <clears throat> so, but let me show you even another, here's another a um, little bit more advanced trick. Since we've got 1 and 6 here in this plus pattern we talked about earlier, got a 1 and 6 here, so we know one of these is a 1. We've got a 1 here already, and we know this can't be a 1 because one of these has to be a 1, so we know that's a 1, and therefore that's a 3. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm talking about a little bit more advanced techniques, but, um, but I figured, um, you know, if you're working on easy puzzles, you're probably ready to learn some more advanced techniques. Let's look at, uh, uh, let's go back to this five, um, 5 and 7 missing in this box. Yeah, that's right. We've got a 5 there, so we know that's a 7. And that's a 5. So, okay. Let's see. At this point, let's... Um, what did we have here? We had 1 and 6 and 3 and 7. So we still, we've only got a 3 here, we have no 7s up here, so we can't solve the 3 and 7 here yet, or the 1 and 6. So we'll, we'll hold on on those. Let's do some column completion here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's an 8 there, so we know that's a 7, and that's an 8. 
Okay, now we know these two numbers, right? Because we've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we know these are 1 and 2, and there's a 1 there. So that's a 2, and that's a 1. And because we filled in this one, and we've got this one, we know that's a 1 right there. Okay, so therefore we know the 6 here. Um, and we've got a 6 here and a 6 here. We've got a 6 here, so we know that's a 6. Um, let's finish this row. This should be real easy because we've only got one number left. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's a 3. See, let's look at this bottom row right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, and seven are missing. There's a seven there, so that would mean that's a seven and that's a two. Let's look at this box right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four and five are missing here, and there's a five there. Okay, now we've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so one of these has to be a 5, and there's a 5 right there. 5. Okay, so now we've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so one of these three has to be a 5, and we've got a 5 there and a 5 there already, so we know that's a 5. Let's see. We still have a 3 and a 7 missing here, and we can't solve those yet. Let's look at this middle row right here. Row 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is missing a 3, a 4, and a 6. There, there's a 4 right there, so that's a 3 or a 6. There's a 6, so that's a 3 or a 4. And we've got a 4 here, so that's a 3 or a 6. So we can't solve those. Let's look at this column right here. One, two, five. Oh, I'm sorry, five. Let me start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got a two and a seven here, and we've got a two and a seven there. There's a two, so we know that's a seven. That's a two, and that's a seven. Now, because of these two sevens, we know that's a seven there. And this is a three. Now we've got a three and a three, so one of these is a three, and there's a three there. So, got a three there. And that leaves us with a three up here, right? Because we've got one in this row, one in this row. We need one here. We've got a three there already, and a three there, so three fits there. Now we can look at this row. There's only two missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four and six are missing now. Um, there's a six there, so that's a four. And that's a six. Let's look at this box right here. What's missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 1, 2, and 6. There's a 1, there's a 2, so that's a 6. So what do we have left? 1 and 2, and there's a 2 there. So 1, 2. Okay, now we've got let's see, only we've got two, two numbers missing here, two numbers missing here, two missing here, but we only got one missing in this column and one in this column, so those would be the easiest to solve. Let's look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's an eight. And let's look at this column right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a seven. And now we just have two cells left to populate and we'll be done. One, two, three, four, 
1 and 4. There's a 1 there, so that's a 4. And the only one left is a 1. Okay, so uh, uh, using row, column, and box completion is probably one of the most simple um, ways of solving a puzzle. And I hope that helps you understand that technique. I also talked about the diagonal pattern right here and how you can use that to find numbers and the plus patterns that we had here and here. So, well, thank you for watching. I hope that helped. And uh, the next uh, video, I'll do an, a medium puzzle. Then I'll go on to hard and diabolical after that. I'll see you again next time.